Hey everybody, it's Dean Etheridge and I wanted to do a quick video on how to set up a custom header for free using PowerPoint. And if you're anything like me, I've struggled with uh, you know, how to set up uh, my own custom header that gets results. And if I can tell you anything, your custom header is probably the most important thing that you can put on your site. And I used to use X header, but I had a problem getting the images right. And I think that you'll find by using PowerPoint, you've got a lot more options as far as design goes. And I'm going to walk you through that. The first thing I want to do is show you the difference between, I've, I've had some other custom headers. And the latest one I tried was this one here, this simple three-step system to help anyone build any business in 90 days. And if you know anything about testing, uh, you'll understand that this just didn't work. It didn't convert. I didn't get any leads with it. So I wanted to change it up and I, I changed it to this one up here at the top. And, and one of the things, you know, I tried to answer the question uh, with this header, but it didn't, it didn't do what you need to do. And that is answer these three questions when people come onto your, your website. And it's very important. It'll help you get more uh, conversions. And that's the name of the game if you've got a website. But you want to, when they come to your website, you want to answer, who is this? Who is this Dean Etheridge guy? And why am I here? Uh, you know, what does he do? And you can see up here at the top on this header, it's got video marketing, blogging tips. I've got a little image out here that tells you what it is that I do. I've got a picture of me. Uh, you know, I've got teeth and everything like that. So maybe that matters to some people. But the last thing is, what do you want me to do? I've got a call to action in my header. And just by changing this in the last two days, I did get some leads, don't get me wrong, because if you've got decent content, you're going to get some leads. But you can really get better conversions if you've got a call to action in your custom header. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you, stay with me here, because this is so critical to your site. So I'm going to go up here and just insert a shape. And if you know how your header looks at the top of your page, most of these are rectangles. So basically, you're going to do, <clears throat> do this. And I'm going to show you how you upload this into WordPress and scale the image to get it the correct size. So just for example, I've got, uh, I just drew a rectangle. And I'm going to format that, format that rectangle. I can make that black. I can take the outline, make it gray if I want to. Uh, take the weight of the outline, um, you know, and make it six. So I've got a little bit of an outline. And see these pictures here on this old one. I like the design of that, but it, again, the text just didn't convert. And the way these images are here, uh, it doesn't look as good with the social media. So I thought I like the design of this, helping people help themselves. That's what I do is I try to help people uh, build successful websites. So with that, let's go in and I can just insert some text into this here. Uh, hello world and I'll, I'll have to change the the text of that but I just want to give you an idea of what you can do you can center that make that text white let's go up here and change that you can put impact if you'd like uh, I like that font but then we can go in and we can start inserting pictures and I'm, I'm not going to do a custom one today this is just going to be really quick for you to understand but um, there's there's a picture of me, okay? So I can put that in there, resize that, turn it just a little bit. Bear with me. I'm doing this on the fly. Just angle that if I want to. Put a frame around it, okay? Nothing fancy, but you get the idea. I can go back over here, um, grab another image. Let's see. Just one second. I mean, again, I can put I can put this video image here. But take your time with this. Put the text that you want. Try to answer those three questions. But okay, here now that I'm done, I can click Control, click my image, click my text, and click my other image. And I want to go to Format and Group. Okay, that makes that one image. Now I want to save that as a picture. I'll put it under my blog pics and put sample header. Okay, I want to save that. Now I'm going to go back over to WordPress, and this is where the rubber meets the road. I've gone into media, and I want to upload a new picture. Sample header. 
Okay, and this is where we can scale our file. You see that the dimensions are 1452 by 284. The problem you've got with X header and some of these other custom header designers is you can't you can't change the image that well. Uh, they get all distorted, but this is a simple way that it will keep the size of your your header. But mine is 940, so I just go simply go into scale image, hit scale, and you see how it automatically adjusted the size from 384 I think to 183 and 940 that will fit perfectly on my website I can take my time and make something nice but whatever I'm ready to do that that's all I've got to do uh, you want to go this is so important too in the title uh, you know I offer talk fusion you want to put you know your main keywords in your site talk fusion the search engine scroll this so talk fusion video email dash video dash marketing okay so that's some keywords again alternate text talk fusion video video email video marketing okay now I'm ready to save it so when it scrolls my header uh, you don't want just some random number in here this this title and text matter so hit save all changes and we're ready to put it into our custom header so that's all it takes take your time you know, make a nice design that looks appealing. Uh, I put an image around that. I can change the size of the, the frames. I can change the color of my text. I can change the color of my background, obviously. Lots of options with PowerPoint. I can put shadows on the images, but it's a very, very powerful tool. And as you can see, it's very simple to shape that and resize it and put it up for your custom header. So I hope that helps, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.